10 15. Let's see what this game has in store for us. So we're protecting the pawn, as we know. If he does take, supporting plus the knight is going to be capturing the pawn. Okay, I'm gonna see what the bishop really wants to do. Are they really looking at locking this center down with that type of maneuver? Let's capture straightforward stuff and develop the knight. And the bishop getting ready for castling. So he's blocked that off. Let's get the bishop here. I wonder if they're debating going castling kingside. Or are they actually thinking, no, let's get moving towards what might do this disheveled pawn structure around the queen side. We wouldn't really expect them to castle there. This knight doesn't have any protection, but we can't get to it. It's just nice to know. If we hit there, then we're losing this pawn. Let's just castle. We're going to have to wait for the opponent to overextend with this sort of opening. Let's hit the bishop. So it's the knights versus the bishops. And in this lockdown type of position, the knights are winning. So we need to get some sort of pawn breaks going. So now his castle is feeling safe. We'll bring the queen here. I might potentially take. Seeing as there's no breaks that we're going to be able to manage in the centre, we might as well hit the edge. Depends on what they do next door. Maybe the king's coming here. It is as well. <laughs> Alright, so we've got them thinking. We'll bring the bishop back. We do like attacking these pawns here on the F file. We need to try and establish some type of break or else our bishops are just going to get suffocated going into the end game. And obviously the opponent knows this so they're going to want to keep everything locked down because the knights will be successful in dancing all over the place whilst the bishops can't manoeuvre. What is it looking to do? Something fancy. Let's just hit this pawn. Now it's moved. So we could break, obviously the knight takes, so we're elevating the knight across the other side of the board. Let's attack the rook while I'm, while I'm thinking. Space here, but that's going to be simply blocked. So we probably won't entertain that one. has moved. Capture will bring the knight over. He's attacking the bishops. Bishop. I'm gonna push. Elevate the pawn. 
potentially give them problems because we're elevating towards the king side. Bishop the wind team. I mean every pawn is on a black square apart from these two. with him taking just moving the king across and maybe looking to have future sites attacking with the rooks on this file because the king is there so if you just take then the pawn can take and that opens the file for our rooks just take so i'm going to grab this queen's probably i was just going to say <laughs> this queen's probably looking to do a little bit of an attack here we can push up He's probably looking to do a bit of a maverick thing. Putting a check on the king, we can move here, attacking. But it's a single attack with the queen, so it gets the queen off the ball, but I feel fairly good about that. Yeah, I don't see any problems with that. Also, does he win the pawn? We go here, then he comes down. And I suppose we can go back up. Yep, okay, smaller piece attacking a higher piece. He might even just take this pawn. Oh, which he has done. Which I'm not too sure is the right way because they're moving really fast now, like it's blitz. Our idea is to put the pressure towards the king area. This is why we wanted that opening up. So, is he going to be trapping his queen? I'm hoping so. So, some sort of thing's going to have to happen. Gonna have to try and break somewhere to stop the rook from coming here. He's not done that just yet. Let's just bring the rook here. Okay, really quite enjoyed that game. Uh, I like the explanation of potential pressure coming towards the King area. We had no breaks and we told the story about the, the difference between the bishops and the knights and the strength of the knights having a lockdown area that's going to benefit them. So we had to try and establish some type of break somewhere for the bishops to start operating. And luckily, the queen overextended and um, ended up trapping itself. So I'm really pleased with that game. <laughs>